All right, it's time for your warm up. We're gonna do each of these for 30 seconds. First one's gonna be a hamstring stretch. In this movement, you wanna push your butt back so you can stretch your hamstrings, pull your toes towards your face. And then in between each movement, I'm gonna have you move your hips a little bit and turn around. That moving of the hips is just gonna get your hips moving a little. It's gonna take the flexibility that you're using, that you're building rather, through the stretch and help you to open everything up a little bit more and get it to be usable. Biggest thing, make sure you're not bending so far that you're bending your back. Next part we'll go into will be the quad stretch. Pull this up and back. Turn. Pull this up and back. Now if you're more advanced than this and this isn't easy enough, you can pull and then high knees. Quad stretches. If you can't grab your toe behind you, you can always find a couch and put your foot on the couch and then stretch. You just won't do as much moving. Next one's going to be a hip flexor stretch. This one you're going to be stepping forward, lift your arms toward the ceiling, you're stretching through the top of your hip and leg, reaching up and back. Turn to the other side, reach with the other leg this time, I think this is the same one. Switch. Now if you're the kind of person who you're doing these, and every time you switch sides you can't remember what the heck leg you're on, then don't worry about turning. Just go like this and do here. Turning is just another way to give you some more movement. Next one that we'll go into will be air uh, hip circles. So we'll go backwards and forward and switch backwards and forwards. You don't have to overthink how high or how far around you're going on this particular exercise. Just make sure that you're actually moving your hips, getting some openness through the hips. Lift it high, turn, breathe, work on your balance, work on connecting with the ground with your toes. After this, we'll go into some squats. 30 seconds. Squatting, find a comfortable space. Don't worry about going too low. Just go to wherever you feel like your body feels good. Remember that when you're doing your warm up, your goal is to get your body back to whatever it feels is a good range of motion. Through sitting or whatever else you've been doing, you might have limited range of motion. We're trying to get that all back. You can experiment a little bit with foot spacing. You can maybe turn your hips out a little bit. Put your hands up behind your head. Next one's arm swings. 30 seconds. Forward and backwards. You want to go low for a little bit. Then you want to go high for a little bit. Then you want to take your palms and turn them down when you're forwards and backwards when you're open. Maybe you want to do a little bit of these. Maybe you want to swing left and right. Whatever you need to do to get your upper body open. And the last one we'll go into will be jumping jacks. I'm going to flick the mic off because these are going to be loud. Okay, that's the end of your warm up. So we stretched some of your muscles out, we got everything moving, we elevated your heart rate, and we got your connective tissue to get a little bit more elongated and flowy. If you have any spots in your body that feel like they need a little bit more TLC before you get started, feel free to hit this video again. Feel free to pause, do some foam rolling, and then hit it. Do whatever you need to do. A warm up is very personal and very specific. You're gonna start your workout in four seconds because we give you a 30 second cool down afterwards. Enjoy.